Hey, what's up, you guys? As you can see, there is a dog in the frame. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. War. War never changes. I got a dog. She came from the Humane Society, and normally I would have gone for a purebred dog and gotten a dog from a breeder, but something happened on Tuesday and I just felt like going to the Humane Society and checking out dogs and she was super smart. She's already pretty trained. She doesn't know, want to get up on the chair. I'm afraid to pick her up because I don't want to hurt her. She goes fixed on Tuesday. Come on. Say hi. As you can see, she is a bully breed. Uh, my first bully breed puppy. Uh, she was really smart. And that's what I needed. I need a dog that's super smart. Because, as you can see, she's wearing a service dog and training vest. She will be my service dog eventually. Not right now, because she doesn't ha have all the training. What are you doing, dork? Uh, so she's, she's doing really great. I got her on Tuesday and she came with sit, uh, heel, uh, down. What else did you have? You didn't know down that well. But, yep, I got a dog. She's pretty great. One of the smarter dogs I've ever had. But she's also a little older. She came crate trained and house trained which is really nice. We've been trying to get her uh, acquainted with the cats. Arrow seems to be fine with her. Arrow kind of does the, what's this, tap on the nose every time she's around. Enzo gets vocal. And when Enzo gets vocal, so does Zora. And she starts whining. She has yet to really bark. We went to the dog park yesterday and she gave out a little bit of a hoof at the dog park and two dogs got into a fight and she wanted no part in it which is awesome and i'm glad i did not let her off leash at the dog park because she does not have a strong come trust is earned baby and she she'll get to that point i can tell that she's super smart and she's eager to learn and wants to make me happy and she's sniffing all over the place in my office right now she's She's already doing a good job of making me feel better. And I, I don't have time to get stressed out because I have to take her in and out and take care of her. And when I'm away from the house, I think about how I have to get home to her, which is good. I'm just gonna knock my lamp over. Oh no! So she she's pretty great. She's a snuggler, which is good. That's what I needed. Don't knock over my lights, please. She was snoozing when I decided to do this. She was snoozing. So she was nice and chilled out. Now she's like, all wants to get into everything. Yeah, so we'll be doing most of the basic stuff here at home. And then there's a trainer in my area that does service dogs. She did a friend of my husband's uh, seizure dog. So I will be contacting her about helping me out with a couple of interruption tasks that I want her to learn. She's gonna, I pick my face when I get really stressed out and um, I'm gonna want her to interrupt that. Uh, I get psychosis and I'm gonna want her to interrupt that as well. Taking a sip of the dog. Um, and like panic attacks, putting her, her nose here so that I can feel her breathing so that I can try to match her breathing. Um, all, you know, stuff that a psychiatric service dog needs to know. Oh no, it's so rough being you. It's so rough. It's so rough being a puppy. So it'll be an interesting journey. We're just getting started as it's only been a couple days and oh no, it's so rough being you. Now you're up on my lap. So she's great. 
she's one of the smartest dogs I've ever started off with and I'm really excited for this adventure.